Okay. Namaste. Uh, welcome back again. Sorry, just now was uh, some time mismanagement. We have a little bit of uh, slight mistake there. So anyway, uh, welcome back. Those who did not join earlier, so this is your first time you're joining. Welcome to the Yin Yoga practice today. And uh, as I was talking earlier on, what exactly we gonna focus on the Yin practice today. Today, as I mentioned, that we're gonna target on the uh, a lot of tight areas we have in the body, especially because nowadays we sitting a lot, so especially in the legs, which is feeling the tightest throughout the day. But there is a certain muscles we have in the body, which you hardly able to reach it in a, a regular yoga posture, because regular position, trying to normally target on the longer muscle, which is the front and the back, or maybe a little bit inner. So today we're gonna do a little bit of the outer line. So there will be some ITV. And the calf is uh, something we gonna work it on. And then after that, we have some twisting, some shoulder, and some little bit of back releasing. So generally is what we're lacking in the uh, daily ways because of longer sitting. So we're just trying to release in a way so you can feel your postures a little bit better and you have lesser tension in the leg or the rest of the body, especially on your back. Uh, so what we needed in the today's practice is uh, chair. I mentioned that chair is certain things because sometimes when we're going to do a calf releasing, maybe for some of you may have a lot of restriction to go down. So when we're trying to create an extra flexion of the foot, not in the active way, but we still need it. So, and the, a little bit of when we do the glutes work, so we try to do a little bit of different way than what we do in the regular yin classes. So we do do a little bit of the chair work just to minimize the effort, to maximize the stretch with the least effort we can put it in, okay? So that's what we are gonna do in the today's uh, one hour yin practice. So just uh, one minute, we're gonna start and uh, just wait for the rest to join those who are still waiting it and after that we're just gonna have the full one hour practice so today's practice is we try to keep it around every posture because one hour sometime uh, may not be enough but sometime it's enough for a lot of you so we try to gaze it around three minutes approximately three minutes in most of the position if I feel certain angles required longer, so we change it time to time. So it's not that everything needs to be in the very fixed manner. We'll try to see what we feel that time and how you feel that time. We'll try to switch the practice according to that, okay? So if everything is clear, so for now, just if you have the chair or anything, you need to pick up your blocks or a strap or anything, or if you don't have a block or something, something you can let your foot place it. So around this height, so if you see my block, it's around this thick. So something this thick, your books or something, or your towel, towel will be also helpful. Or just keep a chair aside. If you don't have the uh, regular strap, which we call the yoga strap, uh, you can just use your maybe small towel or uh, some belt at home you have. So just in case we use it, so you don't have to leave the class and run to get the stuff. Just leave it there. In case we use it, we will use it. And maybe we do some wall walk as well. Depends on what we exactly going to be. Okay, so I will welcome everybody. Those who just going to watch and practice later on. So make sure you practice later on. Then those who are going to practice, just go back to your mat, leave your screen there. As I'm moving backward, just let me adjust a bit. Okay. Just take a single block. We're just gonna spend a little time to ground ourselves down. So a simple cross leg position here, known as the Sukhasana. Just using your hand to little pull the right and the left hip to feel your sitting bone. Keeping your palms on your knee, press to a little bit, side body long, elevate, lift the shoulder, roll it back, bring it down, exhale, once again. Inhale, lift up, and can you pause it here for a while? When you pause it here, slightly lean forward, bring left shoulder forward, right shoulder back, just a mild twisting. 
And then your right shoulder forward, left shoulder back. We try one more time. Left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. And the right shoulder forward, left shoulder back. Center. Roll the shoulder back and down. Once the shoulder is down, look straight to your eye level. And softly close your eyes. Let yourself settle down before we begin the practice. Just a long, deep inhalation. And a long, deep exhalation. And breathing in a very relaxative manner. Make sure you do not tense up your body. Sometimes when we sit in a sukhasana, a simple, relaxative position, so make sure you don't try to tense your arm or anything, lift your shoulder. Now, everything begins from just letting go of all this physical tension from you. Find that softness within you. And that's one of the key things about the yin practice. It means the least resistance is all about softening it, relaxing it. Breathe in the portion in a way that each and every muscle wanna breathe towards give your proper ease and release. Just find a little more depth in your breath. Just three more times, your deep breathing. The long, deep inhalation. And a long, deep exhalation. A long, deep inhalation. And a long, deep exhalation. Just take one more deep breath here. And breathe it out. To simply join your hand in front of your chest. One on, four on, breathing. If you're playing to open your to all. Okay. Now you want to release your block and sitting down on your mat. When you're sitting down, stay there. Extend the leg to the front. When you stretch your leg forward, just a little bit tap. So as I mentioned about the legs, so I want you to have a little bit loosening work here. You see the how exactly your legs feeling now? And we're going to check again how it feels it after the class. Have a little space between your leg and simple rotation to your feet. Slow and simple rotation. Reverse rotation. Good. Flex it one time and point your toes. Good. Just a little releasing, bend your left leg a few times. Just a gentle pelvic release. Get straighten the left, bend the right, and move it. Get straighten it. Now, the first is we do slightly spine releasing, then we're going to go to the leg. So bend the left and the right leg. Okay, you see your feet can be as wide as your mat. When you bring your hands behind you, you want to turn the fingers out. Put your right hand, put the left hand also at the edge of the mat. Now ribs and chest lift up, holding here. It's just like a simple releasing. Drop your knee to the right. Look to the left. Center in here. Drop your knees to the left. Look to the right. Center, inhale, 
Drop your knees to the right. Look to the left. Center inhale. Drop your knees to the left. Look to the right. And third one, we're gonna hold. Center inhale. Now drop your knees and drop in a way your left knee, your right knee, both coming down. It's like when you sit up straight, your knees are properly facing down. Whole upper torso, you're turning behind you, just moving your right hand. So I'll show you how it looks from behind. So you're walking your right hand a little bit more to the edge of the mat and simply allow left hand to follow. So you feel that good twisting here, maintaining it here. And whenever you're ready, just to have the block to stand by, some may need a little bit of restriction, you may find it. Dropping your right forearm, which is on the easier side. So slowly, slowly, as your back allows you, you're gonna drop your left forearm. Just get the nice spinal releasing here. As I mentioned, we're gonna spend it about three minutes here and stay with a deep breath. Just relax your head and focus completely on the back. Continue with the deep breathing by inhaling and exhaling. Remember in the practice, everything will define the way you breathe. If you learn to breathe deeply, you always can keep yourself to be as relaxated as possible. No feel of heaviness. Just be there with the breath by inhaling and exhaling. Two minutes to go. And observe what are the most tight areas you experience in each and every position you're going to work. So wherever you find the tightest spot, you should be focused on those areas. By closing your eyes, it's like you're able to visualize those points where you're feeling the tightest and trying to maintain even deep breathing. It's called the, kind of like the sending your prana, your vital force, known as your chi, to transfer on those tight areas to get rid of all kind of tension, all kind of stiffness, all kind of resistance you feel. Almost there. In the last minute. Thirty second more. Keep holding the position with the last couple of breaths. And after the last exhale, slowly bring yourself up, walk your hand back to the center, and slowly bring yourself back all the way to the base position where you start it. Okay, hands behind, holding here, one time to release, feet slightly closer, press it, hips forward, just a simple tabletop. Hold it. Three. Two and one. Bring your hips down and carry on with the other side. Feet get wider, chest up, ribs up, breathe in deep. Now drop your knees over to the left side. So remember your knee doesn't go on top of the foot. Bring your 
right knee down, bring your left knee down. Keep your legs as it is. So again, I'll show you from behind. Let your hands start walking over to the left side. First you walk it, stabilize it, put your right hand down. When you're ready to drop left forearm, this time the challenge is going to be to bring right elbow down to the floor. So preparing yourself, slowly, slowly. Bring the elbow down, simply interlock and stay here again. We spend three minutes. And as we are twisting it, it's help you to always give a very nice massage to all the internal organs and help to stabilize you. One of the chi we call the prana, around the navel region called samanavayu. In English term, it's called the digestive fiber around your solar plexus reason. Help you to improve your digestive fire. When you have the digestive fire, so it helps to improve your digestion. So the practice itself can be so therapeutic. Remember, it's all about having the control. Keep inhaling. Keep exhaling. We're just trying to create a little bit of mobility in the spine. So later on, there's a few things we're gonna do in the forward action. So it allows your spine not to feel any heaviness. But time to time, we do have the counter release. Just the last minute to complete. Just inhaling and exhaling. No sense of heaviness at all time. Last couple of breath. Prepare yourself. First, give a long deep exhale. Slowly bring yourself up. And again, as you walk your hand back to the center, you bring your knees up and extend the leg forward. When you extend the leg forward, just simply tap your thighs once again. Okay, we're gonna cross the leg, coming over, just simple movement before we stand up. So keep the hands underneath your shoulder, fingers spread, knees underneath your hips, curl the toes under, just simple Marjiriyasana the cat stretch. With the next inhale, just a little arch it on your back. So it's a little bit hollowness, tail up, chin up. And exhale, scoop the tail, belly in, chin to your chest. Inhale with the arch, melt your heart, tail up, chin up. And exhale, scoop the tail, belly in, chin to your chest. Give me three, inhale. And exhale. Inhale with the arch. And exhale. One more time. Inhale with the arch. And exhale. Now neutral the spine, looking forward, toes under, hips moving back. Lift your knee and extend to the down dog. Just a bit loosen up. 
Paddle the feet. Paddle, 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 paddle. Get heels higher. Just short stepping. Walk, walk, walk. All the way forward. Roll the back. And start to come up all the way to the standing. Okay. Now, if you have the... If you have the block or if you have the chair, whatever you have, depends on your own flexibility. So we're going to target first the, the outer thighs area, okay? So just in case you need it, a single block or a two block, place it in front of you. Or those who need a chair, you can even have a chair. So the first thing is, so remember, whichever leg is front, that side we are moving it, so don't get confused. So right leg in front of the left. So you see, right leg in front of the leg, so I'm crossing my ankles, okay? So when I cross my ankles, so you're squeezing like towards the inner thigh, keeping that from the waistline, take a long inhale, and we're gonna bow down. So that's where it depends on the flexibility. So some people feel you only up to reach here, so you have the chair, you put your hands on the chair. Some people can reach it up to the block. You keep your hands on the block. The stretch have not started yet. This is just the, we getting into it. And those who feel, you just choose your height, okay? So I'm just gonna change my side to see how it looks like it. So as we are looking like this way. So if you're using block, chair, or just straight away, hands to the floor, depends on your own flexibility. As the right leg is forward, whatever prop you're using is, remember it has to go with you. Take a long inhale. Walk your hand over to the right side. Stay there. And straight away, you stay in the position. And straight away, the stretch will go from the outer hip all the way to the outside of the knee there. So that is what exactly we are trying to release it very tight spot all the way up to your glutes medius keeping that holding there so we're just gonna have three minutes time to time I will make our changes which exactly you required so you just be there and listen carefully can you have micro bending in a front knee and back leg fully straight because front leg is not the one feeling anything, it's the back leg. Hold it here. Just stay breathing. So some of you may find the feeling on the outer thigh is like a fire. That's how tight these muscles can be. But remember, this practice is about patience. Work with it. Breathing in. Breathing out. Now, I'm just gonna put some option here. So those who are turning side and keeping the hand on the chair, if you're on the chair with a straight arm, so you can just drop the elbow down. If you're using the block to this height, maybe you try to change the height to this one, which is this one. If you're already on this height, you maybe wanna change your height to this one. And if you're not using in the block, you are on a fingertip, you can flatten the palm. So see, we have like a level for each and every body, depends on how much you want to get into the stretch there, okay? Be mindful about it. We just have a minute and 30 seconds more to go. Some of you may find that struggle is already there. So, and another thing is, Sometimes you feel that you want to come out of the position because it's getting too much. Instead of coming out, maybe make it a little bit lesser intense. Like I'm trying to keep it just on the block instead of forcing myself down to the floor. Listen to you. The tighter you feel, the deeper you need to breathe. Letting go all this resistance feeling from you.
30 seconds to complete. start to prepare yourself whatever you're using block chair whatever it is just shift it back to the center holding here bend both legs equally hands along the waist and inhale come up all the way and once you're up release the right leg and ease it out just simply paddle it so some of you may find slightly tension in the lower back don't worry about it okay standing just a little side to side. Counter releases are always very important. Good. Little twisting. And two times. You're gonna just support your back. Thumbs are touching, fingers out. Nothing is intense. Legs are on hip distance apart. You can see from behind how it looks like it. From front. Just with one breath. Squeeze your hip, inhale, just a gentle back stretch. Neutral with exhale. One more time. Inhale, a gentle back stretch. Neutral, you exhale. Okay, we are ready for the other side. This time, <clears throat> prepare your block or anything you needed. Putting your left leg in front, holding here from the waistline okay take a long inhale and bow down just now you're much clearer what exactly you're doing it and what props you need it your block on the higher side your chair whatever you're using it okay staying here set the time okay okay once we do find stability in the forward fold keeping that Whatever prop you're using it, you start walking over to the left side. So that's how it looks it from the front. So if you're a little confused from the side, so just remember this way. So whatever it is, your feet position does not really change. Keeping that. Again, as I mentioned, you can have just the micro bending in the front knee, which is the left knee, but back leg stays straight. Holding that. Just carry on with the position by inhaling and exhaling. By inhaling and exhaling. Remind yourself to always stay connected with the breath because that's the key thing in the yoga practice. Okay, look for some changes now. So as I mentioned on the other side is, whichever level you are in, maybe try to improvise it. If you are on the chair with a straight arm, you can try to drop your forearms on the chair. If you are on the block to this height, you maybe wanna change the height to this, this side. If you're already on this side, you may be going to flatten it. So you know that your own level and how much you want to progress in your practice. Okay? Practice with mindfulness, not with the force or anything. Okay? Remember that. Just one more minute to go. I'll do some stretch with you. Keep in there. And it's normal that while you're holding it, the struggle is real. You definitely feel a lot. But remember, in the yoga is always the post feeling is the key. When you release, how you feel.
you know, the forward bend has improved, so calf releasing will be more manageable after that. Keeping that. Okay, give yourself a last deep breath here. Okay, whatever props you're using it, just bring it with you to the center. Bend both legs equally and slowly bring yourself up all the way. Ease it out, your left leg, and just simply pat it down, pat it down. Just simple twist for this time. Okay, now, the level you choose it, so one thing is about in this practice is try not to go straight away, suddenly so deep in the position. We have time, every minute I will tell you to go one step further, okay? We're not doing with feet together, as we have two block, or if you're using something which is supporting your feet there, so let's say if you have two block, one goes to the edge of the mat, the another one goes to the edge of the mat, like this wide. If you feel that you have a very tight leg, you have a struggle to go down in a forward bend, you may want to use it, a chair, in front of you, okay? So what you need to do is, if you're using a chair, so let me just show you first. So you can place left ball of your foot, Placing your left ball of the foot, right ball of your foot on the block here. And all you need to do is let yourself just to stay relaxed. And then after that, it depends on how much you want to stretch. That will define by your forward action. So I'm going to have more flexibility. Hand can go down or hand can be here. Okay? So find your level and let's get ready to remember the block wider so legs are wide enough it's not together okay so be there i will time to time tell you what are the changes we're exactly feeling it so by now you are i'm sure you're already in the posture by placing ball of your foot on the block ball of the foot So then intensity of the posture is, if you require a chair, you can just into the very relaxative manner on the chair, or you prefer to keep your hands on the block, or you just wanna bow down. Hold the opposite elbow, and go straight into your calf muscle there, keeping that. Holding that. Just keep breathing. Breathing in, breathing out. Remember when the props comes in the practice, it always helps to minimize it, your physical effort, because you have the extra support by these props. The next position is going to be quite a bit onto the easing because we have a two longer areas, one for the outer thigh, one for the back of the thigh, but mainly for your calf muscle. Then we're gonna target your glutes area with very much stability on the chair. But we will have the options for that as well, but for now. See any improvement for the body to go down? And sometimes you wonder, just give a little bit of the technical thing. Sometimes you wonder, uh, like, why calf not like the whole leg? So remember, those people are struggling with the, every time when you go in the forward bend and you find that your legs are not able to straighten, it's not always just about the hamstring. It is about your calf muscle as well. So releasing on the calf is very, very important. And when you have a proper ease on the calf, it gives some more space around the back of the ankle where we talk about the Achilles tendons. So those people struggling with the heel pain, yesterday I was sharing in the therapy as well. 
If you're struggling with the heel pain, it will really help you to get rid of that pain. So you don't need a painkiller for the heel pain and all. Just practice by what we're doing is the ball of the foot on the block and in a forward bend. Just do it every day. You see how big changes it can make. Almost there. Okay, so we're gonna just step down. And both legs and coming up all the way. Okay, time to a little bit relax here. So two options are here because a lot of, especially for the guys. So today I'm trying to work on this. Mainly for the guys, they have the most struggle. They will find that sometimes doing pigeon on the floor, it can be really challenging. So chair, just to help you out, and it doesn't matter. So you just need to have the chair. You sit on it and try not to lean back on the chair. Sit it mainly on the top part of the chair. Keeping the leg, place your left ankle above your right knee. So you can see that pigeon shape here and a little bit of your foot here. So just to leaving this two block here, putting the leg here and making into this. All you need to do here just sit up straight, maintaining that. Put the timer. Now, when you're ready, breathe in deep and breathe out. Just lean to your leg. The rest, you just bring your hands down on the block and let yourself to be there. And it's going straight again into IT, but also targeting of your glutes. But you don't really need to struggle whether your foot is aligned, knee and all this thing. This is just a simple modification of the same glutes work by sitting on the chair. So today we try to doing the yin with little bit props. Remember no forceful feeling because practice is about looking changes within you. Now nobody observing whether other person doing more or less. It's all about yourself now. Find your own level and stay with it. After some time, your body always feel it. When muscles tend to release, your body tendencies to naturally go further. So whenever you feel you're ready to go further, let's say if you're on the block, you can just change the height of the block because it's about connecting yourself to the leg. Many times you sometimes feel this is a little bit too much. You always can be just stay on forearms on top of the leg. As I mentioned that, especially those who runs a lot, I'll do a lot of uh, leg work in the gym, running, jumping, cycling, best position. Especially for you, Ivan and Henry, you guys need it the most. We are already in the last minute. Just last few breaths here. Good. Place your hands on your leg. Sit up straight. Pause here for a while. Good. And release your foot. Extend the leg forward. Bend the leg and 
just a little bit, just moving it by sitting on the chair. Okay, let's complete the side, then we're gonna go down to the floor after that for some back work. This time you're gonna hold the right ankle and place it on top of your left knee here. Okay, sorry, just set up the block here. Once you place your leg, take your time, no need to rush for anything. Once you feel that you've managed to place your leg there, keep a little bit off. So don't start with slouching. You know, sometimes we say you need to relax. Relaxing doesn't mean you have to collapse in the posture. Some basic alignment is always the key, even in the yin practice, just to always protect your joint. So have a little muscle work there. Breathe in deep and breathe out. Let yourself again leaning and putting your Stay there. Let me put the timer here. Three minutes. Just inhaling and exhaling. Remember, especially for the guys, if the block options are not there for you, don't need to force it. Just keep your elbow, keep your elbow on top of your leg. Just simply interlock your finger because if you can place your leg this way and make a little bit forward action, you're already feeling quite a lot in the legs there. Remember, on the technical side, when you understand the anatomy of your body, whenever you're trying to create any kind of releasing around the hip, the first thing is it always gives the extra elevation in the spine so you don't somebody find it that especially in the because if you look at the bodies in the east and the west those people practice a lot of squatting you may find your hips are more free versus those people doesn't really squat in the west but it's always like trying to work it on something which you don't do it just to balance it out your body things sometimes may be a little bit harder but if you keep working on it it will get better Just deep breathing to the tail. Just the last minute to complete. Any changes you feel you can make? So remember how much effort you put on the other side. If you wish to change the height of the block or if you feel that this side may feeling a little bit tighter, you just wish to stay here, it's okay to be staying here. It's not that always, it's important to have the same effort on both sides, but sometimes there will be a restriction. So don't force yourself to reach on the same level on both sides. Again, practice with mindfulness. We're not running any kind of race. This is your own body. Work precisely. Work with control. Slowly press to raise yourself up and when you release your foot, just slowly extend the leg forward, bend the leg and release. Okay, for a while just keep your props aside, your block, your chair, you will be using it. All you need is just slowly coming down and everybody going to lie down on the belly. When you lie down on the belly, just simply stay on a forearm. So you see how much you release, you may experience on the lower back especially. Okay, your legs can be as wide as your mat. 
Okay, adjust yourself that you don't go off the mat when you place your hand down. Just simple spin pose. Shoulder back, looking straight. Holding there. Now, palm facing down. For some, stay here. You don't need to go any more than this one. Those who feel that you want to do a little bit more back release, press the palm. Just lift the elbow. It's on the lower side of the core. Just look straight. Make sure you don't put the weight on the shoulder. Shoulders are down, long neck. Just look one time to the right side. To the left side. Center. One time to look up. Center. One time, chin to your chest. Center. And we're going to slowly come in down. We're going to have one shoulder releasing. So see, what we're doing is, we're just going to cross the arms. So you look like your forearms are parallel to each other. So if front hand, make sure front hand is your right hand. The left hand is the one which is behind. Palm facing down. Walk the right hand to the left side. Left hand to the right. So just crossing your arms there to keep your shoulders level to release the tension on the outer shoulder. Keep your legs closer. For some, you just feel you want to stay here. For some, you feel you just want a little bit shift yourself forward to allow your forehead to slightly down. Stay here. Remember, anything comes with the shoulder, the no forceful feeling to be there. So the angle, we're just spending a slightly lesser time for this one. We just have the two minute on each side, then we're going to have a releasing work to the end. Remember, no matter how easy the postures are, when you start holding them for a longer time, it naturally gives slightly deeper releasing even to the most basic one because your body tendency is to naturally go further and further when you start holding the portion so stay Almost there. Just be mindful about the deep breathing. Sometimes when you hold the positions and while you're getting in the positions, that is not the time sometimes you're feeling the most. The main feeling sometimes it rises when you're releasing the posture. So try to pay the same attention when you're trying to release the postures as well. Not always just getting in and holding it. Last couple of breath. And look forward, those who shifted forward a little bit at chest, front hand slight, left hand slight. Facing forward, just walk your hand to the front, just a little extension the sides there. Just a little counter releasing before we change. Okay, can you just back to the forearm, release it in your back here. This time, right hand behind and left hand stay in front. When you're, so you're just trying to get into the other side. So first, left hand walk to the right, right hand walk to the left. Just crisscross your arms there. 
Once you get it, whatever it is, just remember your shoulders stay in the same level. And those who feel that, you can shift forward, drop your head down a little bit close to the floor, you drop it. Or those who feel just want to stay here, you stay here. Maintain that. All we have, two minutes. Just staying with the deep breathing, inhalations, exhalations. Shoulders is something you may find that is so many different muscles we have in it. The outer line is something you find is also very tricky to release it. That's what exactly you're targeting at. And to release the muscle, sometimes you don't have to look for a very intense stretches. Find the right spot, learn to hold the posture longer because every muscle needs a time to release. Because if you're trying to force them to open up, it actually have a tendency to contract back even more. Just last couple of breath. Prepare yourself. You may prepare yourself. Just look forward. Those who shifted forward, move back. Left hand, a little bit of moving to the left. Right hand, moving to the right. Crawling your finger forward. Just extend the arm forward. And when you're ready, turn it around and lie down on your back. Just making a simple spinal twisting. On your back, hug your knees towards your chest. Just pull the knee closer, move a little side to side, just the proper back releasing. Good. Just let your knees, so use your left hand for right knee, open up your right arm, just drop your knees over to the left side, look to your right shoulder and stay here. Don't force it, you just have one minute on each side. Just deep breath. So you stick in the twisting, do not come out of it. Just staying with the deep breathing while you maintain your twisting. Just breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. You have a last two breath in your twisting. Keep it there. And you slowly bring yourself up all the way. Hold up your knee. Stay here. Use your right hand for the left knee. Left arm open up to the left side. And this time you're going to drop your knees over to the right side, turn the head, look to your left shoulder. Just a simple twist. Remember, not about forcing it. Once you create the angle, you find the releasing by itself. You stay with your deep breathing. Inhalations, exhalations. <clears throat> so 
last couple of breaths. Okay, then slowly you bring yourself up all the way. Hug your knees tightly to your chest, head and shoulder up, chin to your knee. It's like a nice Pavan Muktasan. Squeeze it in. Then head and shoulder down. So when you head and shoulder down, put your feet down. Leave your leg in a butterfly while you're lying on your back. Placing your palms on your thigh, which is, looks like simple Suptabad Gwanasana. Holding here. Okay, you can stay here as long as you want. Later on, after two, three minutes, you can also straighten your leg into Shavasana. And that's always going to be for the today's practice, the yin practice. And uh, I hope you have released your muscles a little more precisely. All the tightness you were experiencing it. So keeping yourself in a butterfly for another one, two minutes. And those who wish to later on continue as your Shavasana, feel free to another three, four minutes for your Shavasana as well. And uh, that's all from the my side. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to ask me or you have any request for the next week, what you want to have it, just feel free to uh, edit here and as we are trying our best to help it out as much as possible as I have the classes the same schedule the schedule is not really changing it so I still have the same Wednesday Hatha one Friday morning yoga therapy and Saturday afternoon the yin practice so if you have any concern or anything or sometimes when you, as you mentioned, that sometimes when you type something, just mention that which country you're from. At least we know that how far we able to reach to you. And uh, any question regarding of the class, if you resting it now, you don't really need to type it. Please stay there and continue resting it. And those who have any questions, later on you also can type it in. We'll be able to check later on whatever your concerns are. And if we can help you out with anything, uh, please feel free to contact us. So I'm just gonna go off from here now. So thank you very much to everybody, those who join for the yin practice and have the lovely weekend ahead. Actually, every day is like a weekend now. So happy Saturday, happy Sunday, and happy rest of the days until I see you next time. Maybe see you on Wednesday, 9 a.m. Hatha 1. Okay? Take care for now. Bye-bye.